Hi everyone, welcome to Brookdale Farm. Today I'm working at a friend's place um, and we're just drenching some of their sheep. These guys are really good sheep people and they produce really good lambs from Merino ewes. This is our other dog, Nola, who wants to be a sheep dog and isn't much of a sheep dog. But these are, are really nice ewes. Um, they're about 22, 21 micron wool on them. Um, and they, they produce really nice wool and really nice lambs. Uh, today we're just giving them a bit of a drench to, they've got worms, they've got a worm problem, so we're just giving them a drench to get rid of the worms. We believe these might have barber's pole worms. If you leave these untreated for too long, it can actually kill them. So these are the drench guns we use. We've got a backpack here that we fill up with, with the drench uh, and just carry that round on our back. And we've got the gun here. It's got a, a screw thread on the back here and you can adjust the amount you put out. This is the bit that goes in the sheep's mouth. And we just squeeze it here to, to make it work and put it out. This is a fairly big dose. This was for the big ewes. Uh, it was only a tiny little dose for the lambs. Okay, so when we're moving sheep, usually if you're moving them in the paddock, we want to open the gate in the direction that they are going to be going through it so they don't get caught behind it. These gates are a little bit more difficult in the yard and you want to be able to close the gate onto the sheep and stop them running back through it. We just want to try and keep these nice and quiet. We've only got a mob of about 240 ewes here today. A ewe is a female sheep. Come here, Nipper. Nipper, come here. Nipper, come here. Good dog. Come on, Nola. Good dog. Good dog. Oops, and I've forgotten to open one of the gates into the raceway here. Come on, sheepies. Come on, sheepies. Push up, push up, push up. Okay, so this is an oral drench we are using today. Uh, so we've separated out the lambs because the lambs have a much lower uh, dose rate, but also we don't want them to get crushed when they're in the raceway like this. So what we want to be able to do is quietly get the sheep, just lift its lip a little bit, poke the drench gun in its mouth and give it a full dose like that, nice and quietly.
So we've finished drenching the, the ewes and the lambs now and we've put them all back together. The lambs have all found their mums. It's funny watching them when they all go back out, especially when they're small lambs. The mums know their lambs by smell and by the sounds they make. Each lamb does make a slightly different call. Uh, and you'll see them calling for each other and then you'll see the mum come up to its lamb and uh, start sniffing at it. Now, drenching is really important uh, it, to kill the worms. If we don't drench them, then, we, uh, then the sheep are not well. They don't grow in a healthy manner. Uh, they can get, get the runs, diarrhea, and when they get diarrhea and they get dags all over their back end, they're very susceptible to fly strike when the weather gets a bit warmer. Now, that's where the flies lay their eggs in the, in the wool of the sheep, and then the maggots, when they hatch, burrow into the sheep and start drinking its blood. And they can very quickly give them blood poisoning and kill the sheep. Uh, so drenching is one of the methods we help to reduce fly strike. We do need to be a bit careful with drenching though. It also kills other things. So it's go it will kill all the dung beetles. Uh, so if we over drench, we kill the dung beetles and things like that far too often. The dung beetles really help to bury the manure. This helps the manure get down into the soil, but it also really helps control the flies. Uh, and nobody wants too many flies around them in the hot weather, particularly not the sheep. It irritates the sheep having too many flies around their face all of the time, uh, but also it helps to stop the fly strike when we've got the dung beetles. Uh, so it can be a bit of a double-edged sword um, drenching too often. We've finished all the work with the sheep now and we're going to take them back out to the paddock to graze.
Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you've enjoyed the video today, uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.